solve these equations by gauss jordan elimination method now when we see the working rule we have the system of equations like this now first represent the system of equations in matrix format now after representing the system of equations in matrix format go for representing representing them in augmented matrix now when you go for representing them in augmented matrix you will have a form like this then by elementary row transformation reduce this matrix to this format so that you will get 1000010001 where you have d1 d2 d3 now my 1x is equal to d1 1y is equal to d2 and 1 is it is equal to d3 now using this we are going to solve this okay now when we come for the solution first we have to represent this equations in matrix form so in matrix form ax is equal to b so when i go for representing i'll have 1 1 1 then 2 minus 3 4 3 4 5 here it is x y z this is equal to 9 13 40 40 now after this i have to represent this matrix in augmented form so when i go for considering augmentary matrix i have c is equal to a plus b where this is equal to 1 1 1 is to 9 2 minus 3 4 is to 13 3 4 5 is to 40 now i have to reduce this augment the first transformation which i am going to make for this is i am going to rewrite my r2 as r2 is equal to r2 minus 2 r1 and r3 is r3 minus 3 r1 so that i'll get zeros here so now my matrix is r1 is as such without any change my r2 is r2 minus 2 r1 so here you will have zero here you will have minus 5 and here it is 2 and here it is minus 5 in the same way r3 minus 3 r1 so here you will be having zero here it is 1 here it is 2 and here you will be getting 13 so now we have obtained zero here zero here one here now we should go for the next one now my next row transformation that i come across is r1 is 5 r1 plus r2 r3 is 5 r3 plus r2 so i go for changing my r1 and r3 so that i get zeros here so now my matrix becomes 5 0 7 and here you will be getting 40 in r2 there is no change so it is 0 minus 5 2 and here you will be having minus 5 and i'll have change in r3 r3 is 5 r3 plus r2 so i should get 0 here 0 0 and here is 12 it is and here it is 60 now in my next transformation i have to convert i have to have numbers only here and i have to convert this to zeros so now i have my matrix like this now i have to make these two terms zero so in order to make these two zero i change i rewrite my r1 as minus 7 r3 then my r2 i am rewriting as 6 r2 minus r3 so now in r3 i don't have any change my r3 remains as such so now r1 is 12 r1 minus 7 r3 r2 is 6 r2 minus r3 so now in r3 there is no change we'll have 0 0 12 60 0 and now my r1 will change as 60 0 Zero and here I'll get sixty, and my R two is zero minus thirty zero, and here it is minus ninety. Now when I go for finding the values, how I'll get is sixty x is equal to sixty, sixty x is equal to sixty. So my x is equal to one. Then minus thirty y is equal to ninety. So y is equal to minus ninety. So y is equal to three. 
then next 12 is that is equal to 60 is that is equal to 5 so my x is equal to 1 y is equal to 3 z is equal to 